So in this video, we're going to talk about the Davidson and Germer experiment, which was one of the, which is one of the classic experiments in quantum physics. The Davidson and Germer experiment used a beam of electrons to generate a diffraction pattern, and with that diffraction pattern, they are able to measure the wavelength of an electron. This is important because um, it supported was some of the first experimental evidence to support the de Broglie hypothesis that a matter, a particle of matter, can be both seen as a particle and a wave. And so, and and so, this is important that they use diffraction because diffraction is a wave property um, unique to waves rather than something that particles can do. So if it can diffract, it has to be a wave. So what did de Broglie predict? So de Broglie made the prediction before this experiment was performed that if, say, we accelerated an electron through 54 volts of potential difference, that this uh, electron would be going 4.2 times 10 to the 6 meters per second, and that this, um, at this speed, the electron would have a wavelength of 1.67 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. And so before this experiment, this was only a prediction. No one had any proof that this actually occurred. And we went over this in the wave nature of matter video before this one. So if you're interested in that, go to that video. So how did they exactly do the Davidson and Germer experiment? So, like I said, they took a, they accelerated the electron through a potential difference of 54 volts to create this beam of electrons. So these are single electrons in a beam headed toward this double slits that are part of a nickel crystal. So a nickel crystal has slits in it, or atom spacing, that we know the spacing of all the atoms, and so we can think of this as a double slit experiment. And when the beam of electrons, or the wave of electrons, hits the double slit in this nickel crystal, it generates an interference pattern, shown here in the red and yellow um, lines. And in the interference pattern, areas where the peak of the wave coming through the slit meets the peak of the wave coming through the other slit, you get constructive interference. And in areas where the peak of the wave is from one slit meets the trough of a wave coming through the other slit, you get destructive interference. And so if you look, every point where you get these crossing waves, you have constructive interference. And so if you measure the angle of the wave coming in as normal, and you measure this angle, you get an angle that we can use to find the wavelength of this original wave. So how can we do So the information we can got from the Davidson with the from the figure above, the slit width, the um, distance in between the atoms of the nickel in the crystal and the angle to the first line of constructive interference. So if you look up here, so this is normal to the beam of electrons coming in and I'm measuring to the first line of constructive interference. So that'll be important later. So it's important to note that this is the first line. So it's important to note that this is the first line, so n equals 1, because that's going to help us do our equation. Okay, so we can use the equation for a double slit experiment, diffraction pattern. So it's n, so how many lines of constructive interference from normal are you? Wavelength equals d, the slit distance, times the sine of the angle between normal and your line of interference you're measuring. So I'm trying to find wavelength. 
so I'll solve for the variable d sine theta over n. I then just plug in my numbers. d is 2.15 times 10 to the minus 10 meters times the sine of 50 degrees all divided by n equals 1 because we are using the first line of constructive interference. And I find that the wavelength of my of my electron is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. So this number is exactly the same as was predicted by the de Broglie prediction. So this supported the idea that the de Broglie equation was correct and that electrons were both a particle and a wave. Okay, and that's it.